I'm Gary. I'm Melanie. And these are our kids. Hi, Gary! Hi! And we are Simple Life Reclaims. It's an Eve's kind of day. Not Christmas Eve. Marking and cutting. Marking Mark and, and cutting. Cut. I got some measurements for Mel to uh, cut out some blocks for me. Yep, it's like a mm -hmm. hundred blocks. Get the cutting, Mel. We're on like the final, final stretch for us to be able to completely close in and dry in our cabin. I, for one, am so excited to get this thing started. It's gonna be a really good day. This looks really awesome, man. I'm super excited about this. So what do we got going on, Gary? So we're doing eight foot sections because one, doing a 19 foot section would suck. This is gonna be hanging off the actual side of the gable end. And now we're gonna be marrying that top cord of the gable end to this. And then we're also gonna be putting bracing in between the gable end as well as the other normal style truss right there and we're gonna be tying this metal bracing into that. So we'll be actually tying into the gable end and a normal truss as well, all with this. So oh, that's gonna be solid, all dude. All together. What makes it better for the eight foot than the 16? Just because it's a lot lighter, right? Yes. Easier to handle? Easier to handle. We're doing, this is a total of 16 inch overhang. So yeah, it 
should work out perfectly when we're going up there and sheathing everything to where we could be able to sheath this side, sheath that side, and then just fill everything in. Nice. We're getting close, guys. We're getting so close. Yep, yep. This is the big part of it. Big, big, big part of it. You have to do this first before you do yep. any sheathing up there. So. You would say this is the last step before the sheathing goes up? Correct. Last step before all the sheathing goes up and then all the waterproofing and all the membranes and everything else that normally goes on top of that. But yeah, I'm doing the zip system so it shouldn't be too hard. And the ice and water shield over the whole everything. Why not? We got one other thing to do before we do start hanging this, which is the subfascia ends. So we'll get just a good eight foot section attached to each end piece or whatever. So that way we can actually attach that, you know, ah, okay. to there. Okay. And that will hold it where it is as well down there while we're attaching everything, walking up it. Nice. Red naked, I like it. That was a great idea. I like it, Gary, I like it. Yeah. I didn't know you had good ideas on Thursdays. Alright, and then I'll have you push on this back side. Or push it down. Okay. Get her done. <laughs> Leverage. Son of a gun. <laughs> Geometry, my dear boy. Geometry. Um, let's try to grab this joist. If we can, and push it up. Let or pull it up. Oh. 
Damn. I'll get it. Let me. I just gotta get. Here we go. Some leverage. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Oh. I'm lag. That maxed out. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Oh, dang, yep. Tonight, I'm actually going to be making something from Green Chef. Green Chef has arrived again, and I am so excited. Tonight, I'm going to be making the barbecued pork cheeseburgers. They look super delicious. Should take about 30 minutes to whip this up. Let's try it. Introducing Green Chef. Deliciousness delivered. I always love when my Green Chef arrives. It takes the guesswork out of the age old question of what's for dinner. They're a meal kit company that helps you to cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes, pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time and taste delicious. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and offers options for every lifestyle. Keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. Their meal kits elevate weeknight dinners with their seasonal chef-crafted recipes featuring farm fresh produce and organic sustainably sourced ingredients. Their flavors are inspired by international cuisines and you're gonna be amazed by the tasty, crave-worthy meals that you cooked. Green Chef lets me choose from several different options each week and I've tried so many different flavors and ingredients since I've signed up. They've definitely elevated my palate. I am in love with so many different new foods that I had never even tried before. I love that we're able to eat nutritious meals without sacrificing flavor. And the ease and breeze of cooking, man, that is complete game changer. And I know the family is absolutely loving it too. Well, Green Chef truly knocked it out of the park today for tonight's dinner time rush saved me a load of time and man the meal was absolutely delicious crowd pleaser for sure if you guys would like to give green chef a try we pinned a comment down in the comment section also put a link down in the description below you guys can use promo code slr60 at checkout you guys are going to get 60 percent off your first order plus free shipping it's an amazing deal i don't want you guys to miss out make sure to check out those links and now, back to your video. I had a very busy day today preparing the last final thing before we can get the roof sheathing up and on. Yep. So, what are we doing today, boys? We are doing the eaves. We eaves. are completely finishing it up. We've uh, put in quite a bit of work for prep work, but today is the day the eaves are going up. Days. When he's talking about quite a bit of prep work, I'm talking about days of prep work. Yeah, it was it was a lot. It was uh, just step after step after step to get us to this point where we can hang them. Yeah, it took a long time. Yeah. And when we finished, we probably could have gotten half of a wall done, but I don't want to get half of a wall done. I want to get the whole wall done. Yep. You know. Um, the second we put in that second one, now it's fully, fully going to be braced, you know? Just having one, it is relying on these bands and all the screws and nails to hold it to that wall. But as soon as you make it into a triangle, it's sort of got its own downward pressure on itself. Yep. So, 
Yeah. And this shouldn't be too bad as far as weight. It, we should be able to pick these up and hang them right up. Me and Gary uh, should be able to adjust them on the on the pitch and on the fly. Yeah. So it shouldn't be nothing too too major. Yeah. But we will have to hold on to the side of the house. <laughs> yeah, a little, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We do have the one scaffolding over there. I'm hoping that we'll be able to stand up on it. Um, more looking at it, I think I might have you on that side and I'll be on this side just because I'm a little taller and mm -hmm. I might be able to just stand on it and just hold it. But yeah, we're gonna be able to attach these guys right here and then we're gonna come through and we're gonna put in blocking all the way through and then we're gonna lag right through where the blocking is because they're four inch lags. So it's gonna go through the through it pretty good and it's gonna secure it nice. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's gonna be stout, that's for sure. So now that we've got all four corners prepped up, we can start on the gable end eaves and we'll be able to get all, both sides completely done, I believe today. And we should be able to also come in and fill in the rest of the subfacia that we got to do. So Thank you. I'm excited, ne I'm excited. Next step, the roof. Yep. Yep. I'm glad this isn't pressure treated wood. All right. Because it would be heavy. All right. I mean, not that this is super duper light, but it's not it's as not. heavy as it could be. Yeah. It's definitely more manageable. Ha! Ah, watch out, other one. Grab it. Grab it. <laughs> Little toe hook. Little toe hook action going. Dang. That was intense. Yeah. <laughs> That was an exclusive moment just for you. Yeah, that was intense, dude. That was intense. Oh, it's on the, okay, yeah, I see yeah, it. Yeah, I angled it. Yep. You angle that one. You might be able to angle it to where it's grabbing onto the, the wire for that oh, metal yeah, strap. Yeah, yeah. Just slide it all the way down to the E. There, there we go. go. Yeah, that's way better. That way we don't accidentally lose it or... <laughs> that would be our luck, all right? So do you want to start from this corner and pull up or do you want to start from up top and pull down? Uh, we can start from uh, here in just a second. Uh, let me grab all the other tools. We got that up there. Woo! Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, those for the lags. Those are for the lags, and then this is for the regular screws. We're not even needing that, but just in case, we'll pull it out. That's on. Need that. Tape measure off. We've got a razor blade that we can throw up there. Oh.
It is dark, but we have finished. We uh, we didn't beat the complete darkness, but we did beat the twilight, so we didn't need any lights when we got that last uh, board nailed in. Yeah, but uh, check this out, you guys. I don't know how well the lights are gonna pick it up. I think you... they can see the silhouette a little bit of it yeah. all the way down, y'all. We got it all the way around. We got this side, I'll walk around. I'll ask my dad. Scarlett, I'll ask my dad. Oh yeah. We got it. Gabled up, man. We are eaved all the way around the gables. That's nice. We are ready for sheathing. This side is all sheathing. done. Come back here. It's a little hard to see. It's dark. I'm we sorry, a, you guys. We had a hard day in today. Well, not not too hard, but it was a good long one, that's for sure. Yeah. We had a good going. As soon as we got a good uh, rhythm going, man, we started going. Yeah, for sure. That thing is nice. And that thing is strong too. I was laying all over the top of that eave, all the way down. That's awesome. So we got that done. I think it's time for us to go inside and check out what Listen, uh, Mel's I, been cooking. I've been smelling that stuff cooking for the last couple hours and I've been just like, <gasps> dude, we're salivating. I'm ready to eat. All right, let's go and uh, check in on Mel, see what she's got cooked up for us and uh, get some good grub. Yes, sir.